Hey friends, welcome back to the Chris Chow Show where I talk about saving money, investing, and personal finance. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you eight things that I don't buy anymore. There's several reasons why I've stopped purchasing these items, but one of the main ones is that I've realized that I was just throwing money down the drain. And instead, I could be using that money to be investing or buy things that I actually enjoy. But before we get started, as always, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So believe it or not, I was a wannabe hype beast. I had the $100 Comme des Garçons play t-shirts. I had the $500 Maison Kitsune jumpers. And the reason why I spent so much money on expensive clothes was because I wanted to be cool and, and fashionable. And now as I'm older and much wiser, I found something way cooler than luxury streetwear. And that is stonks. All jokes aside, when you're buying expensive clothing, you're not paying just for the material or the quality. Most of the time, you're paying for the logo and the actual brand. Once I realized this, I stopped buying expensive clothes and instead bought good quality basics such as Uniqlo. On a similar note, I've also stopped buying sneakers. Yes, I was a sneakerhead. No, I wasn't the hardcore ones that would line up outside Foot Locker for the latest sneakers, but I did buy quite a few pairs of Air Force Ones, NMDs, Onitsuka Tigers. And like with the expensive clothing, I wanted to be cool and fashionable. And you know, I thought wearing the latest kicks would, would do that for me. But I'm happy to say that I am now a reformed sneaker head and I haven't bought a single new sneaker since 2017. Instead, I've just been wearing the ones that I currently have. Another thing that I've stopped buying is souvenirs. So I've been fortunate enough to travel to over 40 cities around the world. And each time I went to those cities, I would buy a souvenir. It could be a fridge magnet, a shot glass, or a little trinket from a gift store. Then I come home and put them in a corner and over time they just gather dust. Now I realize it was quite a waste of money. Not to mention the time that I wasted on my trips, you know, going into gift stores looking for souvenirs. Another thing that I've stopped buying is home decor items such as candles, cushions, rugs. So when I first moved into this apartment, I had grand plans to design and decorate everything beautifully. Uh, so I started buying decorations and accessories, but after a while, the reality of life hit me and I didn't have the energy or time or style to decorate this apartment. Coincidentally, I also discovered minimalism around the same time and it made me rethink what I need in my apartment. So now I've stopped buying any more fancy light bulbs or nice looking side tables. I've also stopped buying brand name household items like detergent or cling wrap. Like many people, I've always been a little bit skeptical of generic supermarket brands because they were always cheaper and you know, I would assume that because they're cheaper, they're probably lower quality. But after doing my research, I discovered that some of the generic brands actually outperform brand names. So for example, in Choices Review of Laundry Detergent, Aldi's TriMat Advanced Contratrain Laundry Powder was actually ranked number one with a score of 78% beating out numerous brand names. Once I was armed with this newfound knowledge, I would always look at generic brands first and see whether or not they had good reviews and ratings. And if they did, I would switch them over from the brand names that I used to be buying. Also, in some cases, the factory making the generic brand is actually the same one that the brand names use. Another thing that I've stopped buying is video games. So I used to spend quite a lot of time gaming and I would buy games on PC and PlayStation. And like many other gamers out there, I have a lot of games that I bought on sale and I still haven't touched them at all today. As I get older, the appeal of video games has slowly declined. But when I do feel like playing, there's so many free to play games now that I don't have to spend money and buy a new game. One caveat to free to play games though is you have to be careful not to spend money on buying additional content or their virtual currencies because if you start buying that, you actually might spend more money than if you had just bought a normal game. All the time that I now have instead of playing video games, I spent making YouTube videos like these ones, so make sure you like it. 
Like many millennials, the first watch I bought was a Daniel Wellington and it was because I fell for those Instagram ads and I thought they looked really cool and stylish at that time. And before I knew it, I was buying other brands like Swatch and Seiko and then I had all of a sudden a small watch collection. And then I got myself an Apple Watch and one of the positive side effects was that I stopped buying analog watches. This thing right here can tell the time, but it can also track your activity, remind you of meetings, it can even tell you when it's going to rain. Personally for me, I just feel like it's so much more useful than a normal analog watch. And the last thing that I've stopped buying is sale items. As a marketing manager myself, I really should have known better than to fall for sales and promotions, but alas, I am a mere mortal. It's so easy to get an email that says, hey, 50% off sale, and then you click through, you're browsing, and the next minute, You've added $300 to your shopping cart and then you click order. And then you get an email that says, this is arriving tomorrow. And you get a little dopamine hit. Then you justify your impulse spending because you've actually saved money, right? That item used to be $600 and now you save 300 bucks. Yay. What a bargain, right? Well, actually, no, the reality is that you spent $300 that you probably weren't going to and you might not have budgeted for. So nowadays, when I get an email about sales, instead of clicking through and browsing, I will actually hit unsubscribe and then delete it. As the saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. But you might be thinking, wait, if something's on sale and you need it, wouldn't it be better to buy it then? Well, in those rare, rare, rare cases, yes but you should be really conscious and think about, do you really need this item or do you want it because it's simply on sale? Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos about investing, personal finance and saving those hard earned dollaroos. Let me know in the comments below what items you've stopped buying this year. As always, an important disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice. This video and my channel is for general information only. As with anything in life, you should do your own due diligence and seek independent advice.